In tonight's special report, he's 19, has a Ph.D., and is already in medical school. She is 13 and graduates from college this month. Get ready to meet an extraordinary brother and sister. Carol Moraine is here with quite a story. Robin Allison, Sho and Sayuri Yano say they're like any other teenage brother and sister. They play together. They argue with each other. But here's the big difference. Both have IQs that are off the charts. Your IQ, do you know the number? No, I don't know my IQ. Uh, when I was a lot younger, I did have the IQ test. At that time, they couldn't measure it. Shoyano was just nine years old when he enrolled at Loyola University. At the age of 13, Sho Timothy Yano, summa cum laude. He received his diploma. This month, 13-year-old Sayuri Yano graduates from Roosevelt University, her degree in biology. My main career goal was to become a cardiosurgeon. To say they are remarkable, both in the classroom and on stage where they sometimes perform together, is an understatement. Last summer, Sho got his PhD in molecular genetics and cell biology at the University of Chicago. Over the course of their young lives, both have had to answer the question, how do you educate a child with such intellectual gifts? Too many people compare physical maturity with mental maturity. People shouldn't be restricted. By the time he was two, Sho was reading. By three, he was playing piano. By four, he was composing. Already, he was casting a large shadow for his little sister. Sometimes it's annoying when um, they seem to say there's only one sibling. So it's like you can only have one prodigy in a family. Yeah. Both say they've had to Maybe. overcome obstacles in the classroom based upon their age. They sometimes try to exclude me from their groups, so they don't want to talk to me or to a study group with me. Sayuri's organic chemistry lab partner, 28-year-old Prince Manji. She's a great lab partner. Uh, she's really brilliant. She's probably more mature than most of the classmates that I have now. Their father, Katsura Yano, is Japanese. Their mother, Kyung, is Korean. She homeschooled her children and says she's heard a chorus of complaints about pushing them too far, too fast. Could you have held them back? No. Never. Should I let them stay home and do nothing since they are young, even though they are ready? Sho and Sayuri say their lives have been full. Karate and sports for Sho when he was younger. <laughs> Sayuri performs with the Midwest Youth Orchestra, and she's learning to paint. Prodigies don't always study all the time. Are you happy? I'm living out my dream right now. Right now, at 19, he's learning how to be a doctor, including sessions with mock patients. Do you dream someday of being famous? Let's put it this way, it would be great. I think <laughs> that would be great, but I don't ever want to make that my goal. Last year, Shoyano gave a speech in Japan to a group of advanced high school students. He told them his belief that a single individual can change the course of the world. There might be some truth to that old saying, or the butterfly flapping its wings can cause a hurricane on the other side of the earth. I never felt that having an IQ means that you will succeed or you will not succeed. If I could have contributed something, I mean, that's what really matters. If all goes as planned, Sho will be an MD at the age of 21. Sayuri is off this summer after graduating from the university for intensive violin study, but thinking of her other options, Allison and Rob. <laughs> what extraordinary children. I bet a lot of parents ask their mom, how did she do it? How did she get them to accomplish all these things? Obviously, they're bright, brilliant children. They're brilliant kids. Uh, they were homeschooled. Their mother has written seven books on homeschooling in Korean. But she would argue this is what they intrinsically are and that her job as a mother was to help them realize their potential. I'll tell you, they are pretty humble kids. I it mean, comes across. And, yeah. and so uh, whatever happened in that home seemed to happen rather well. Thank Thanks, you. Carol. You're yeah. welcome.